Duco and Team Falco have tested their noses. Coming up in the Boneyard are Underdog, Team Maker, and Live PD star, Team Dax. We'll answer the question, who'll come out on top in the Boneyard? Find out next, right here on America's Top Dog. And we're back here on America's Top Dog. Two teams have completed the Boneyard, Team Falco and Team Duco. Two teams left to go. Who will advance to round three? Up next is our underdog, Team Maker. Hey, 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 and he's already hey, working the crowd. Hey, 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 hey. Let's... This dog is definitely a show dog. We'll see if he can show out here at the Boneyard. Maker, he's a beautiful, cute dog, but don't let it fool you. He packs a punch. <laughs> He's excellent at protection work. He's great at nose work. We do anything somebody needs us doing. Maker is the star. I want my dog to be the best dog in the world, and we're, we're going to go out, and I don't care who's there, honestly. We're, we're going to lay it down today. I hope the rest of the competition's ready to meet their maker. How do you think they do? Because civilian dogs don't generally do that well in smelling competition. John puts in so much time with Maker, as we saw in round one, but it's gonna be really interesting to see how his nose holds up. All right, to advance to the final round, they've gotta find at least two items in less than four minutes, 41 seconds. Unlike other teams tonight, Maker trains with peanut oil, so that's what's used on the items in his run. Let's see if he can roast the competition. Hey, find peanuts, peanuts. Huh? Peanuts, find those peanuts. Well, right there, I see a, a nice sit, and peanuts. I don't know if John picked up on that, but that's what I saw. Maybe it's just John trying to detail a little more for him to actually pinpoint the item. But that, for me, that was a clear alert. Oh, but he picks up the wrong item. But it'll be incorrect, so they'll go back inside the luggage room. 45 seconds so far. Check here. And again, going back, he, he knows something's there right there. Again, you saw that stare, that focus from Maker. John easily picked up on it that time. So one item in less than a minute, they're on pace. Next is the bedroom where the scent is on that decorative letter A. Normally I talk about how I love seeing people be cool, calm, collected in here. Maybe in John's case, I wonder, are you being a little bit too cool, calm, and collected? Right there, super focused on that item. I read that as an alert. He looks back at John saying, hey, are you not seeing this? John eventually <laughs> sees it, and that's going to be his second item in less than a minute and 30 seconds. Faster than Team Duco, who now has been eliminated. Check here. Now it's on to the living room. Find peanuts, buddy. Find it. Find it. Where are they? There's an alert right there. But it's another incorrect item. Clearly, Maker knows something's in that area. It just comes down to identifying. Now at the three-minute mark. John cuts his losses. Ready? Find peanuts. Go, go, go. Find Moves peanuts. Moves on to the office where the scent is on the pencil sharpener. Right there. Again, I see Maker. He's not leaving that area. If I'm John, I'm reading that. A clear one, too. Oh, yeah. Go pull it. Oh. Come on, get in here. Hey. Find these peanuts. Find it, buddy. Find it. Looks like they're find going peanuts. back go. to the living room where Maker had a little bit of trouble. And right there. Hey, Maker's doing his job, but John isn't picking up on his alert. Ah, oh, he did not pick up on that. I saw that as a clear change of behavior. Unfortunately, John did not read that. And they're gonna run out of time. Looks like they missed an alert that would have been their fourth item. Instead, the clock runs out and they end up with three items. That's one better than Team Duco. For now, that's good enough for second place and means our SWAT team has officially been eliminated. Team Duco, come on over here. Incredible effort tonight. It's a little bit of a challenge in there. What was it like for you? Very yeah. stressful, <laughs> um, all over the place. Uh, but we're motivated and we're dedicated to our craft, so we're always training, trying to get better. So I'm happy with what we did today. Love the bond you guys share. Beautiful dog, Duco. Good job, buddy. Thank you. All right, Kurt, back to you. For Team Falco, hey, no problem. They're safely into the final round of the doghouse. The question is, will they be joined by our underdog, Team Maker? Okay, I do. Or could it be our live PD?